Hello, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. And today we're going to continue talking about man versus expert. Remember, we started talking about this last time in our previous program. It's a program on Discovery Channel, and it's all about this guy named Alexis Conran, who uses. Every method that he can to defeat the experts, and I guess we're kind of asking the question: Can an ordinary person beat the experts at their own game? Hmm. We're gonna find out.、Uh, I would guess that、uh, Alex is gonna win a lot. Mm. Yeah, I think so too. I just think he's too tricky for some of these guys who are going in with just straight skill sets. But、uh, we found out yesterday that Mr. Conran is a hustler, so he knows a lot of tricks and he uses illusions. And he uses just a lot of smarts to beat people at their own game. We found that out today. We're going to actually look at some of the challenges that、uh, man versus expert has on their particular program, and we're going to look at someone who's a really strong person. I don't know how Alex is going to beat him at that because I know you're you're only so strong, right? Yeah. You're always going to beat me, Tom, because you're much stronger than I am. Uh, well, in some things, I think women do better in swimming long distances than、oh, men、really? do. I、oh, think because、cool. you got a little extra layer of fat there, and I think、uh, there's、mm. something in women's bodies that allow them to pick up chairs better than men, or something like that. Wow, you got better memory too, and of course, you're going to live longer than me based on averages. Who、so、knows? Feel, oh, feel based、so、on averages. Okay, that's fair. <laughs>、mm, yeah, but in any case, here we are going to talk about this really strong fella here. And of course, Conrad is going to go up against him. So let's find out what happens by reading through the entire contents of today's lesson right now. Since Zydrunus Savicus is widely hailed as being stronger than any other man in the world, beating him in a powerlifting competition is an impossible feat for Conrad. Fortunately, Dr. Hugh Hunt. An engineering lecturer at Cambridge University comes to the rescue by using several key physics principles. Hunt and Conran come up with an idea that will give Conran the edge in a truck pulling contest. However, with truck pulling being Savickas's most successful competitive event, will Conran be able to pull it off? Conran realizes science won't get him out of a jam. When he meets Callum Colquhoun of the Volkswagen Motorsport World Rally Championship mechanic team, therefore he sets up a race to see who can change four car tires the fastest, using only the tools that fit into a medium-sized duffel bag. The limitation is that battery or electric-powered tools are not allowed. Conrad's plan to pack a contortionist into the duffel bag. Along with two lug wrenches, is ingenious. Nevertheless, will two people changing tires be enough to beat Cole Cahoon's spectacular speed of five minutes and thirty-eight seconds? To go up against Min Hyun Kim, a mathematician at Oxford University, Conran calls in a co-conspirator, twelve-year-old Lewis, competing with Kim in a sudden death round of complicated math problems. Lewis seems unlikely to succeed. Conrad has a trick up his sleeve, however. Thanks to age and a biological condition called presbycusis, or age-related hearing loss, Conrad is confident in Lewis's ability to win. How can a young boy use his age to knock an esteemed mathematician out of the match completely? Though, tune in to Man vs. Expert to see if Lewis and Conrad come out on top. Okay, let's continue talking about challenging the best on Discovery's Man versus Expert. Okay, now today we've got the strongest man in the world. He's from Lithuania, and his name is Zydrunas Savikas. I hope I said that right. And here it says, since Zydrunas Savikas is widely hailed as being stronger than any other man in the world. Beating him in a powerlifting competition 
is an impossible feat for Conran. That sounds reasonable here. In this sentence, we have the word hail, H A I L. Hail as a noun refers to little balls of ice or snow that、uh, fall out of the sky. Sometimes there have been hail. Or has been hail reported in Taiwan from time to time, but、uh, here hail is being used as a verb. It just means he's recognized, or people say that he is stronger than any other man in the world. Don't get him mad, or you will be in big trouble. Oh, that would be scary, wouldn't it? It would. I know. Well, that's his first challenge. So let's see if he can beat Mr. Savikas or Mr. Savikas. We don't really know. Well. Here in the next sentence,、uh, they're talking about a powerlifting competition being an impossible feat. A feat is something pretty hard to accomplish. So we're not talking about the things you walk on to get around. Those are feet, f e e t. A feat is a pretty、uh, amazing physical, especially physical task or activity somebody can do. So we're going to see how he does in this powerlifting competition. Usually with weights. Uh, the the stronger you are, the more weight you can lift. So, if you see that word powerlifting, guys, it's usually for guys, but girls can compete too. You better be prepared to lift a lot of weight. Now, fortunately, our little friend Conrad has、uh, somebody who's going to help him out, Doctor Hugh Hunt,、Ooh. and he's an engineering lecturer at Cambridge University. Cambridge, as as you know, is in England. It's a very prestigious. University, along with Oxford University in England. Now, if you're a lecturer, it's also another term we use for professors in England. So, a professor often has to lecture his classes. Yeah, they talk in front of large groups of people, and they're pretty smart, and they're well respected. And again, as you said, he's at Cambridge University. He comes to the rescue. He's coming to help Alexis Conrad. Figure out a way to beat this really strong guy in a powerlifting competition. Maybe you've seen those on TV before. Powerlifting means you、uh, do some weightlifting, but there are different sorts of、uh, things you do. Okay, I think there's three different things that are in a set sequence. I think you lift weights or you throw these heavy barrels over a bar or something like that. There are different things that they have to do, and by using several key physics principles, Hunt and Conran come up with an idea that will. Give Conrad the edge in a truck pulling contest. Maybe you've seen that too. They stand in front of a large truck and they've got like a,、yeah. a rope or a chain attached to their body,、uh-huh. and then that is attached to the truck, and then they have to pull it a certain distance within a certain period of time. And so, in any case, here we're we're using the、uh, lecturer, Dr. Hugh Hunt, and they are using science here. They're using key physics. Principles. Okay,、uh-huh. something is key. Of course, it's important. Physics, of course, is the study of you know nature and weight and stuff like that, and how things work and the relationship between objects in the natural world. And they're using physics principles, probably how muscles move and、uh-huh. bone structure and stuff like that. And principles are just basic ideas of something, fundamental truths. Of certain beliefs or sciences, etc. So there are basic basic principles, say of、uh, Christianity, the basic principles of a religion, for example. In this case, they're using physics principles, basic、uh, true things about physics, and they're going to use these to give him the edge.、Uh, to give someone the edge means to give them the upper hand, to put them in a position in which they have the advantage. Yeah, so we now have learned several ways to say this: to give someone an advantage,、uh, give someone the upper hand, to give someone the edge. They're very similar in just saying someone's a.、Uh Someone's definitely has something that maybe a skill, or maybe somebody gives them a head start, but it's going to help them in a contest. So this truck pulling contest uh, is uh, really kind of scary for Conrad, I'm sure, because it's actually Savikas's most successful competitive event. So he does lots of different uh, weight uh, events where he competes against other people, but this is his best. So you're going up against somebody who's really good at it. So here's our question: Will Conrad be able to pull it off? If you pull something off, you're able to be successful in something that's a little hard or a little difficult. 
Yes, the question is: Will Conran be able to beat Savickas at his own game? Well,、Ooh. in the next paragraph here, it says Conran realizes science won't get him out of a jam. When he meets Callum Colhoun of the Volkswagen Motorsport World Rally Championship mechanic team, <whistles> that's a long title there. Volkswagen Motorsport World Rally Championship mechanic team. <laughs> All those words are modifying the word team. Okay, that's the name of this particular team. And maybe you know about、uh, auto racing. When the cars stop for a pit stop, we have these people who come out and put fuel in the car and change the tires and stuff like that. I would say that's probably a mechanic team. A mechanic is a person who basically repairs and fixes. Machines. Okay,、yeah. so if your car has a problem, you take it to an auto mechanic. And here, this is a sports team, an auto racing team. And、uh, well, he's going to challenge them.、Uh, at least,、uh, Mr. Callum Colhoun. I hope I said his name right. He's going to challenge them to something that has to do with repairing cars. At the beginning of the sentence, we have the phrase "to get someone out of a jam," which means a jam basically means you're in trouble. Uh, of some sort,、mm -hmm. and someone needs to come and help you. I'm really in a jam here. I told the boss that I would have the report done by four o'clock, and it's three o'clock now,、yeah. and I haven't even started it. Help me get out of a jam. What am I going to do? Well, I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. Well, he meets this guy, and、uh, he's part of the mechanic team. Hmm. So, if you're a mechanic, you're very, very good at fixing cars, in particular, and we love really good mechanics when we have cars that we can、mm, trust.、True. So, therefore, he sets up a race to see who can change four car tires the fastest. Wow! <laughs> I hate changing a car tire; it's not easy. But here's here's the the twist. Remember, there are twists in these things. You can only use the tools that fit into a medium-sized duffel bag. A duffel bag is like a big bag that you usually pack and take on trips. I see a lot of duffel bags being checked in at the airport, and people carrying them onto the plane and putting them in the overhead bin as check-in baggage. Yeah.、Mm -hmm. Well, well, you can actually carry it on as well. But if it's a big duffel bag, you'd have to check it in too. Ah,、uh, true. Yeah, I yeah. mix it up there. A carry-on and check-in baggage. This、so、is a... medium size. Though it's not that big, so、uh, this is his special twist. Indeed, and we will find out what his、uh, trickery is or his special twist is in just a second. But right now, we're going to take a break and listen to our Chinese teacher. 大家好，欢迎收听 English Digest， 我是 Sunny。今天我们要继续阅读第八单元第二天的课程。昨天我们已经得知 Discovery 频道上面的节目。专家速成班，它是由主持人康然去挑战各行各业的顶尖好手。今天我们就要来看看他和哪些专家 PK， 还有他用了哪些方法来占上风。首先来看第一段的最后一句 ：However, with truck pulling being Savikas's most successful competitive event, will Conran be able to pull it off？ 然而，拉卡车是塞维克斯。最成功的竞技项目，康然能够成功达成吗？这个句子里用到了一个句型 ，with 加受词加受词补语。这个句型有几种常见的用途，一个是表示附带状况，就像课文里的用法；另一个是随着什么的意思。例如 ，with summer approaching, the weather gets warmer and warmer。随着夏天接近。天气越来越温暖。With 也可以用来表示原因，例如 ，With all his work done, Stephen went for a walk to relax. 因为史蒂芬的工作都做完了，所以他出去散步放松一下。这个句型要特别注意的地方是受词补语的形态，也就是 with 加 somebody or something 后面的动词，可能是 VING， 也可能是 VPP。又如何判断应该用哪一个呢？关键就在于受词补语和受词之间的主被动关系。如果是主动，就用 v i n g。例如 ，with summer approaching， 就是夏天主动的接近；而被动的话，就要用 v p p。例如 ，with all his work done， 
，也就是这些工作被完成，所以要用 PP。接下来我们看到第二段，康然第二个挑战的专家是福斯车队的卡勒姆·科宽恩。这次他了解科学无法使他脱离困境 ，Science won't get him out of a jam. Get somebody out of a jam 的意思是使某人脱离困境。Jam 在这里指的不是果酱，也不是塞车，而是 a difficult situation， 也就是困境的意思。所以，如果你说 somebody is in a jam， 就表示某人陷入了困境里。例如 ，My brother was in a jam and asked me to lend him some money。我弟弟陷入了困境，并拜托我借他一点钱。We're going to take a short break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. 
Conran calls in a co-conspirator, twelve-year-old Lewis. <laughs> So, someone who's going to help him battle this brilliant mathematician is actually a little boy. It sounds like if you're talking about a co-conspirator, it's someone who's going to help you with some conspiracy. A conspiracy sounds like he's trying to do something illegal, or he's trying to fool someone into giving him money or something. But、uh, it's actually just someone who's in with him on the secret and is in there to、uh, beat this really. Brilliant mathematician. If you call someone in, it just means you invite them to participate with you. Exactly. So, of course, a conspirator is somebody who's doing something that is not really、uh, recognized. A conspiracy is the noun form. There, yeah, somebody who participates in a conspiracy, maybe to cover up some kind of、uh, event in society. Yeah, it's a scheme. A lot of people、yeah. say nine eleven was a conspiracy by the U.S. government to get them involved in a war in the Middle East or something like that. But in this case, the person who is working alongside Conrad is a kid who is only twelve years old, by the name of Lewis. Now, competing with Kim in a sudden death round of complicated math problems, Lewis seems unlikely to succeed. Yes, the odds are against him. Yeah, it's going to be very difficult for him to gain the upper hand. He's just a twelve-year-old kid. He might be a genius, you know, a precocious child, perhaps. But to hear Ming Yong Kim is, you know, a mathematician at Oxford, it's going to be very difficult to beat this guy. That's、uh, where Stephen Hawking went, you know. So the great,、oh, really? math- yeah,、mm. mathematicians from there. How the heck are you going to beat them unless you kind of cheat somehow? I know. Well, if something's complicated, it's got a lot of details. It's not easy to figure out. I think most math problems are complicated once you get past algebra. It's a little hard to do that. I know people in Taiwan are very good at math, though. They are. They never tell us here that this little boy is actually good at math. You know, so I'm wondering what he's up to. I'm very curious about what、uh, trick Conran has up his sleeve. Oftentimes, when people are tricking you while you're playing cards, they're hiding cards in、uh, their sleeves of their shirt, or they'll put the card maybe under the table and pull it out while you're not looking. So that's where this phrase came from. Was from people who are actually cheating while they were playing cards. Like、uh, I don't know, poker or something. So he has a trick up his sleeve, which means he's got a trick, but he's not showing us what it is yet. Right, it's kind of weird, and I haven't quite figured this out myself. But it says thanks to age, which means how old you are,、uh-huh. and also thanks to a biological condition called presbycusis or age-related hearing loss. Conran is confident in Lewis's ability to win, so we don't know who is experiencing hearing loss. That just means as you get older, you are less and less able to hear things.、Uh, my grandmother, when she was in her eighties,、uh, she did not wear a hearing aid, but we kind of had to yell at、yeah. her to talk, you know. So she was experiencing. Age-related hearing loss. This is a peculiar condition called presbycusis. I guess、uh, a certain percentage of people will suffer from this as they get older. And、uh, well, Conrad is confident because of this biological condition and because of the kid's age. He's confident in Lewis's ability to win. But I guess we'd all have to either watch this program or use our imagination to figure out exactly. Why this kid can win because of someone having hearing loss? Maybe that's referring to the mathematician Ming Hyung Kim. Maybe he's an old guy who can't hear very well. Well, and maybe someone's whispering the answers to the little boy, and Kim, who is older, can't hear the answers.、Ah, I、possibly. don't know. Yeah, that's, that's that's actually a good guess. That's what I came up with. You're going to have to watch the program to find out. How can a young boy use his age to knock an esteemed mathematician out of the match completely? Though that's the question. And if you knock someone out of something, you beat them, and so they're no longer qualified to continue to knock someone out of a competition. You can also knock someone out by just hitting them really hard, and they'll lose consciousness. That's what、uh, KO is. A KO, out, a knockout. Yeah. yeah. But here he's just、uh, beating him, so he's out of the competition. If someone is esteemed, they're very highly respected for something they do. There's a lot of admiration that people feel for this. 
this person. And of course, if you're teaching math at Oxford University, you're really good. <laughs> yeah. So how can this boy beat this esteemed mathematician? Yeah. Well, tune in to Man vs. Expert to see if Lewis and Conrad. Come out on top, and to come out on top means to be number one,、Yay. to be the winner. Hopefully, you're the winner when you listen to our Chinese teacher. Let's do that right now. We continue to look at Kang Ran and Ke Kuan En's competition. Kang Ran set two rules. One is that you can only use the wooden tool for the long leg walking stick. The other is that you can't use the electric or the steam tool. Let's look at this sentence. Electric powered. This is a descriptive phrase. 意思是电力驱动的。当你把一个形容词、副词或名词和一个动词结合在一起，变成复合形容词的时候，要注意，动词应该要用 i n g 还是 p p。判断的方式是看这个动词和整个复合形容词它所描述的名词这两者之间的主被动关系。在这个例子里，动词 power 的意思是驱动、发动。它和后面的名词 tools 工具的关系是什么呢？因为工具是被电力驱动的，所以要用表示被动的过去分词 v p p。那我们来举个主动的例子 ：a time consuming task， 一项费时的任务。这个时候 consume c o n s u m e 耗费这个动作和 task。之间的关系是主动的，因为是 a task that consumes a lot of time， 所以 consume 就要变成表示主动的现在分词 v i n g。接下来，康然第三个挑战的专家是牛津大学的数学家，他找来了一个十二岁的小男孩 Lewis， 要和这名金教授 P K。他们比赛的回合形式是 sudden death 咒死赛。咒死赛通常是出现在某些比赛项目当中。如果比赛时间已经结束，但是双方还是平手的时候，会增加一个延长赛。这个时候谁先得分，谁就会获胜。再来，我们看到下一句 ：Conrad has a trick up his sleeve. Conrad 留了一招。来看一下这个片语 ：Have a trick up your sleeve， 意思是暗地里藏了一招，留了一手。这个片语的由来是由我们常见的扑克牌游戏，因为有些玩家会作弊出老千，把王牌偷偷藏在袖子里，所以这个动作 have an ace 王牌 up your sleeve， 或是 have a card or a trick up your sleeve， 就被引申为暗藏一手的意思。今天的课程讲解就到这里，谢谢收听。Okay, that's it for today. Hopefully, we have、uh, encouraged you to check out Man vs. Expert yourself. So turn on your TV, put down that smartphone, and check it out. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. Bye.